as we said with our morning routine, it helps us to stay consistent, but staying consistent is the hardest thing. And you all know that it doesn't matter if you're starting a new diet, if you're starting a new workout routine, or if you're staying consistent with the number of deals you're selling or the number of agents you're recruiting, it really doesn't matter. Consistency is the hardest, but I'll give you a little example. And it was when I was a kid, I was probably about 12 years old, maybe. And I placed second all day long. I was at a horse show. I placed second, I placed second, I placed second. Man, it would really be nice to have a first place right now. First place is where I usually am. Why am I playing seeing second? And I placed second all day. And the way they calculate your overall score for the day, which you have your daily, you have your class where you get awarded for each class where I play second every time. And then you have your overall. The overall is a lot bigger and it's a lot more expensive. And it was a saddle and a scholarship and all these great things, right? I would really like to place first. I really want the saddle. I really want the scholarship. But even though I was placing second, I still worked really hard in the next class, right? Took it in there just like I was going to place first. But again, what did I do? I placed second again. I ended up at the end of the day and they announced my name as the winner. I had the most number of points because I consistently placed second. You don't need to be the winner to win. Ooh. You just need consistency. At the end of the day, it's really important to stay consistent. You can allow yourself to talk yourself down, allow yourself to put yourself in a bad mood, allow yourself to take yourself out of that winning mindset just because you didn't like something or it was hard or it was challenging or whatever. And you can allow yourself to go in and then really not place first or second, right? Because your mindset isn't there. And so staying consistent is something that I have been so passionate about. It doesn't matter how tired I am. We all know that's a struggle in the United States. We're not talking just about real estate. All these gurus come in, oh, if you work out and you eat healthy, like you won't be exhausted. I have never been able to get to that point. And I have worked hard at that. And I have never been able to not be exhausted. So some days when you're just exhausted, you're like, I don't feel like getting up at four o'clock in the morning and going to do my workout. I don't feel like getting up at 5.30 in the morning to be working at six to get all the work done before my family wakes up. I don't feel like going and driving from San Antonio to Houston to show two houses and then to drive to Austin for a listing appointment just to drive back to San Antonio. I don't feel like it, right? That happened like yesterday. So I may be a little still about it, but the thing is I didn't feel like it, right? Who feels like that? No one feels like they want to do things that are hard. No one feels like they want to overcome that challenge. It's a mindset. It's not a feeling. It's a commitment. If I decided, okay, I'm going to read 30 pages a day, the day that it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm still on page 15, I'm not going to finish it, right? Because I'm exhausted. That commitment is a large commitment. 30 pages would take me two hours because I'm a very slow reader. That's a big commitment. Like I can't do that. What if I were just to commit to 10 pages a day, but consistently did it every single day? 10 pages doesn't take you long. It's a 30 minute read to actually understand what you're reading, right? That's not hard. You can make all your notes. You can highlight, you can underline, you can be like, oh, that's super excited. I'm going to take that note of that quote. I love that. You can do all of that in 30 minutes. That you can maintain over time. You can maintain it on the day that you're sick. You can maintain it when your little boy needs to go to the emergency room. You can maintain it. It's just 10 pages. And if I were to do that every single day, do you know how many books I would read? So all it is setting something that's manageable and that manageability is up to you. I don't know what that is for you. You may be a super fast reader. <laughs> Whatever that commitment is, is that it's manageable on a daily basis. If you can do that seven days a week and you commit to doing it seven days a week, it will change your life without you even seeing it. I know that a lot of you out there are, you've heard the sales pitch on life insurance, right? No, I'm not an insurance agent. I'm not about to sell you. I'm gonna give you another example. It's most important to stay consistent because not only are you leading yourself and your family, you're leading the ones around you. God has entrusted you with these people. I make sacrifices every day because of it. I know that God has entrusted me with these people's families, if they're my employees, 
with these people's families and careers, if they're agents on a team, if they're all of that was entrusted to me, it's a lot of responsibility. And it's my responsibility just to stay consistent. I don't need to be a rock star every single day. I just need to show up, be present, have the level of brain capacity, have energy, have my level of always putting out and like giving value. And the only way to do that is consistency. 